Perhaps the most famous plastic ever made is nylon. That takes us back to the 1930s, when Wallace Carruthers, a chemist working for the DuPont company, found that taking two compounds, adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine, mixed them together, and you got this wonder material called nylon. It was actually introduced to the public in 1939 at the New York World's Fair, where spectators saw the nylon actually being made, and they saw its strength being demonstrated when two ladies took a nylon stocking and used it in a tug of war to show how strong it was. The name originally was No Run, because nylon stockings were said to never run. Turned out that that wasn't exactly true. So they played around a little bit and they came up with nylon that just rolls off the tongue. In 1940, on what has been designated as Nylon Day, ladies stood around the block in line in front of Macy's in New York to get their hands on these new materials made from coal and air. Indeed, the two chemicals needed to make nylon come from coal and nitrogen from the air is used in the formulation. During the Second World War, parachutes were made of nylon, ropes. It was said to be the fiber that won the war. Well, what was the first material ever introduced that was made of nylon? It wasn't the nylon stocking. Believe it or not, it was the toothbrush, the bristles. Before that, they were made from the little hairs that grew on the back of pigs, pig bristles. So pigs were very, very glad that nylon came along. After that, of course, came the stockings, fabrics of all kinds, tires made of nylon that has a myriad of uses. Historically, this item, I just love this because I like to collect little souvenirs of history. This was one of the first materials ever made of nylon and it was hyped as an invisible hair net. And indeed, it is practically invisible. Here it is. And this was worn over ladies' hair to keep it in place. And before that, there was no such material. Well, I like this for another reason. And I want to show you another property of, of nylon. We have a match here. No, that's not made of nylon. That's not the point. But I will take this match and place it on this card. And watch what happens. That match appears to float. And indeed, I can take this card and show you that there is nothing underneath. No, there's no magnets here. This is all done with nylon. Exactly how? That's for you to figure out because there is indeed magic in nylon.